There were so many sheep to care for, sometimes a hundred at a time. You see, there were so many sheep that it became easy for one to stray away here and there. So as a shepherd, it was their duty to sometimes have to leave those 99 sheep and go after that one. Jesus talks about this in Luke chapter 15, where he said that the shepherd will leave all the sheep behind to go after that one, to go into the wilderness just to seek that one sheep. And when he finds him, he lays him on his shoulders and he carries him back home rejoicing. You see, Jesus is my shepherd. Jesus leads me. Jesus feeds me. Jesus guides me wherever I need to go. Whenever I stray away or whenever I decide to go my own way, Jesus is right behind me and he's following me, waiting for me to come back home. You see, I see Jesus' shoulders as a place of comfort, as a place of rest, as a place that is worry-free. That's how I see his shoulders. But you see, the crazy thing about Jesus' shoulders is that while I'm resting in his presence and while I'm resting comfortably on his back, he's also carrying all of my weakness, all of my sickness, all of my brokenness right on his shoulders. When I think about the crucifixion and the day that Jesus gave up his life for us, the part that sticks out to me the most is when he is walking down the Via Dolorosa to be crucified and he's carrying the cross right on his shoulders. But I believe that he's carrying way more than just two pieces of wood pinned together. I believe he's carrying death. I believe he's carrying torture. I believe he's carrying sickness, brokenness, lies, deceit, unfaithfulness, unforgiveness, sexual morality, junkiness. You see, Jesus carried all of my weakness so that I may be strong in him. And you see, since Jesus sacrificed himself to carry my weakness, I think it's only my duty that I come on this earth to express my strengths. I believe that I've been blessed with the strength to come up here and provide a word of faith through preaching. And this dance that you're about to see was put together by one of the dancers, Christian Diaz, whose strength is to express worship through dance. And you see, God put this whole vision in his heart for this project to happen because God wanted to remind him that no matter where we feel like we're headed towards, no matter how low we feel, no matter how broken we feel, no matter how empty we feel inside, that all we have to do is look up to God and know that he's reaching down for us because he's telling us that he's strong enough to carry our burdens. Thank you. 